Alright, hello. Welcome back to Diablo 2 Eastern Sun Rises Hardcore. So if we go to single player, the Barbarian Hardcore, he's level 63. We were leveling a little bit on uh, Lister the Tormentor, but then we always had to go back to the lower level areas. Because we were trying out the other mercenaries. <clears throat> we tried out the Fire 1, we tried out the Act 3 Fire 1. I think we had the Fire Arrow Mercenary originally. Yes. And then went here, and then we hired, and then we tried the cold mercenary. So the cold arrow mercenary actually was pretty good. She has a freezing arrow attack and a lightning arrow attack. And then uh, we thought, um, it's not as fast. Maybe the fire arrow would have been faster, so then we leveled the fire arrow one again. So we literally leveled, what, like two, two rangers? Two rangers from level 12. <clears throat> So all you had to do, we've been uh, trying to find places to level them. We found if you ran the Arcane Sanctuary, we were at this a little bit, and then you could run the, go to the Spider Forest, and then you enter this tunnel into the Flare Tunnel, and then into the Flare Jungle. <clears throat> so just there's uh, so many enemies. All you're looking for is places with uh, big groups of enemies, and then you can maybe take them through the River of Flame for a little bit. Although, Bloody Foothills would be the next best place. So, when they get to what, level like 20, 23 I think? When they're level 23, you can just bring them here. And then level them up. Is this mercenary? He's... Does he get things? He does get a wow, How does he get so much experience though? Maybe he gets the same from the cows or something. <clears throat> we're usually... Well, we just got to cows recently with him. The thing is, mercenaries, you have to level them up if they're low level. So we leveled those up. We tried we tried crafting our own uh, ranged mercenary set. I think we just had like the bow or something. We had this four socket bow. We transferred the forging from the mercenary. We transferred the mercenary only conversion to it. Because the other recipe was, what? Piercing. Maybe we should pull up the website. Alright, so we just pulled out the website again. So if you just like Google Diablo 2 Eastern Sun Hirelings, should you bring you to this page, I'll show you what all of them do. In LOD, generally, um, higher and higher difficulties have less stats. So in original LOD, in Eastern Sun, the difficulty does not matter, and hirelings of the same act always have the same stats. And the level cap of Hell is raised 85. <clears throat> so if we were in Hell difficulty, we could just change our mercenaries whenever we want, and they'd be up to level 85. So that'd be good. Act 2 mercenaries are much preferred in Easter Sun. All higher hirelings are well balanced, so you're recommended to hire multiple mercenaries to see the difference. Fully equipped with the wall, <clears throat> uh, hireling is strengthened wearing the mercenary set combined with Waves of Ascension. So we don't know what Waves of Ascension is. But this uh, shows all of their stats, so it show their life, their hit points and everything, and then their damage, and all their stats shows how much uh, stats they gain per level, right? Strength per level, dex per level, hit points per level, and it shows, shows things about the Act 1 mercenary. Can't equip the Amazon specific, but it shows what works on them, you can use all skills on them, and to each of these skills, Magic Arrow works. So we need to get get some uh, armor that has plus skills on it because there is a uh, plus skills on it that could help out the mercenaries and then it could show here it shows you about the other ones but it also shows you what skills they learn so the hireling skills shows the rogue the fire mercenary when she is level 10 to 39 she will use these abilities and this is the level that it starts at and then every this is how many skill levels per level so if it says like 0.3, it'd be like, what well, you have to be, if she leveled 10 times, she would get 3 levels on this. <clears throat> and then the rogue fire, so it does an immolation arrow, poison arrow, and strafe. We thought that was alright, but then we tried her again. It's just the uh, rogue mercenaries, you need to have a strong damaging bow, and we don't have a strong damaging bow. The freezing arrow worked really good, freezing arrow worked really good, that was a good one. Lightning arrow was really cool. And then we went with the fire sorcerer. So he did fissure and fireball and emulation. So it turns out a uh, fissure was doing amazing damage. Fissure was actually amazing when we had the fire mercenary. 
So the Fire Mercenary, 25 until level 54. Once they turn level 55, then they get a new spell, right? They don't have Immolation or Creeping Doom. But once he turns 55, then he learns these abilities. And he changes how often he casts the other things. So the Cold Sorcerer. That's like Glacial Spike, Tornado, Ice Nova. Tornado is amazing. Tornado is actually physical damage. And Glacial Spike. So when he turns to 55, he gets uh, Winter's Fury. Which is pretty much just a aura that always damages. Well, it's just like a Winter Storm summoned around the Mercenary. So everything around the Mercenary gets periodically hurt by the Winter Fury Frozen. And then he can cast Frozen Orb as well. <clears throat> so Glacial Spike's really cool because it freezes everything. And then Frozen Orb is pretty cool. Although the Cold Sorcerer maybe doesn't do as much damage as the fire but their auras their auras are actually actually their auras are different right because the cold mercenary oh for the rogue mercenary we're looking for the inner sight right we thought we were a barbarian inner sight uh, lowers the defense and the physical resistance of the enemies so it would help for a physical character having the act one rogue mercenary <coughs> So we went here, and then the cube recipes, right? If you go to D stone and then just scroll up. For the for the rogue mercenary, you could have any bow, helm, and torso. You could have piercing attack 12%. So where mercenary had like 36% piercing attack. We're just not sure. Maybe we had to work on her a little bit. Just seems that uh, spell casters benefit a lot more with a lot weaker gear. So we're able to... Uh, use them for better magic fighting characters plus I guess the shields an extra item to equip so we've uh, spent a whole bunch of time going back through act 2 and act 3 and then running the bloody foothills again to level up the character and then running through cows again to level up the character so this character we just got him to level 56 now so we still have to uh, level him up a bit we have to bring him through some more cows and the uh, only way that you can level is by running, what, Lister the Tormentor, essentially? Lister the Tormentor's the best way to level at this point. But this was supposed to be uh, going through the items and identifying everything, but it's already like uh, seven minutes long of not identifying anything. We have uh, all of these ancient scrolls that we saved up. Some of them are a lower item level because we've had to go to all the lower levels. We've got more keep one saved up. We have a whole bunch of things. We have all of these jewels, <clears throat> so we could craft a whole bunch of uh, craft a whole bunch of really good items. Maybe this would just be a update video or something. This is our collection at the moment. So the next page is just more grand charms. So we just gotta go through them, compare these stats, check these stats online, see what they are, and then get rid of them, and then eventually re-roll a whole bunch of them. So we have a whole bunch of large charms saved up. Have a whole bunch of small charms saved up, and then a whole bunch of rings saved up. So we really need to organize and look at those in the amulets. And then we'll try to, we'll probably gamble a whole bunch of amulets. We could gamble tons and tons and tons of amulets and gamble tons of rings. And then in our other pages, all that we've been uh, doing is just adding items, right? If we keep scrolling through, probably starting on page 10. So when I started, so these are all like item level 44, and then it's, well, if we just keep going through the pages, it would just be literally pages and pages and pages and pages of uh, rares and uniques and set items. All the things that we've looted, so it goes up to like page 66 or something. So we're supposed to go through all of these, we'll go look at all the rares, see what all the rares do, see if there's anything we could do. We know that the best rares are going to come from gambling, because gambling is based on your character level. So we could actually, we could actually get like the hell difficulty items almost. So if you scroll up here, and we could get higher stats on the items too, like if we go gamble something. <coughs> if we go like uh, weapons or armors or something. Let's go to weapons, swords. So the quality level determines if you were able to get this item or not. So 33, we get the great sword. Level 28, 34. So you don't even have to be that high for level 55. You can start getting that one. Level 50, 
Level 58, you could start getting the Executioner Sword. Although gambling is like a negative four or negative five. It's a plus or negative four or five. So like if you're level 60, the item that you get could be item level 56 or 64. Or 55 to 65. One of those two, but there is a range there. So we could gamble for Executioner Swords if we want. Or we could scroll down here, we're like level 60, we could get a better sword. This one's like, what, 49.5, the Jeweled Edge, level 65. So we just have to level up a little bit, get a item level 65 Jeweled Edge. Maybe use the recipe to make it a white sword. And then our damage would increase considerably. Because there's a negative 30 attack speed. What is our weapon? Dimensional Blade, zero. So it'll be 30% faster, 30% faster than our dimensional blade. Amazing, yeah. <clears throat> and then if we like keep leveling up or something, if we get to level 67 or 70, we could almost get that. We could almost get the, what, Titan's Dagger, the Judgment Blade. Maybe the Judgment Blade would be pretty cool to get. 115 two-hand average damage. Compared to 67. Yeah, because the hell difficulty items, we notice that the uh, damage spikes up considerably. We'll look at something that's uh, with not as many items, right? If you look at the spear, average damage 19, 38. And then a nightmare, it gets pretty good. But then as soon as you go to hell, it just jumps up to 120 for the first. Just uh, completely outclasses everything. So if we're around here, we could get a grapnel or a dragon spear maybe a dragon spear would be faster but i don't think we're getting those and then if you go to armors pretty soon well what level is the uh diadem 83 we could gamble for tiaras or something magic level 15 tiaras tiaras would be just below diadems hmm we're starting to figure out what we should uh, gamble for in the future, so we could get the nightmare items of these, and then, uh, what are these? 65, 60, we get, like, chain skirt, dragon mails, robes, 60, we could get the best assassin cloak. Part of level 50. So we could just, uh, try to get these better, higher tiered nightmare level items from gambling. We're gonna do that at some point. But let's go back to the game. That's just our plans at the moment. So we just got to pretty much uh, level up our character a little bit more. We were trying the other mercenaries. We tried four of them. We tried both of the Act 1 mercenaries. And then we tried two of the Act 3 mercenaries. So we were thinking of just going to the fire mercenary again. And just thought, uh, because he seemed faster. But we'll try this one again. Because we just don't want to level up another one right away. We've leveled up uh, four of them already. <laughs> So we could actually do like uh, end game areas for a bit. Cause this guy, he starts at level 34 or 24. Yeah, so then you have to bring him through, bring him through like the Chaos Sanctuary or the Bloody Foothills. Just bring him through the Bloody Foothills, I guess. So now our mercenary is set up again, pretty much the same as the other mercenary it was. It's not really any difference except that we did the mercenary conversion to make it a uh, cold skills instead of fire skills. We'll just look at that recipe before we end this clip. Because I don't think uh, it's not going to be a long one. We don't have to do a long one here. The next long one is going to be uh, going through all the rares and identifying them and then figuring what do we do with them. Because if we don't have to identify them anymore, right? Because this one, the mercenary only conversion. You could choose what kind of elemental damage you want to add. So actually, I wonder if uh, that would work good on the Act 1 Mercenary Rogues. Instead of giving them 12% chance to pierce, you could just give them straight up 12% damage. Which would be 36% damage. Because he has 3 items. But the Act 3 Mercenary does have a shield. <clears throat> so we're just going to use the cold one for a bit. We're going to try the cold one if the... He does uh, really good at clearing the low level areas, we found that out. The other mercenary, he has like a uh, chain lightning. The other one, so I have to try all of them. When we make some other characters, we'll make the other characters get other ones, but 
this one he also gets a lightning hydra that's right he could do lightning hydra static field chain lightning so chain lightning is probably pretty good and lightning hydra because he just casts lightning hydra and then it just uh, attacks things for him hmm Yeah, so there's the character. So we're at level 63. All we have to do is run Lister. So maybe we could run Lister or something. What is it? What did the players on? Players 3. So you just want to go to players 8. That way you get the most experience. Because the cows, they only go up to level 44 to 47. And you are level 63, so you stop gaining experience at level 54. Once you get to level 54, then it's uh, really hard to level up. You can go to level 57 by like uh, killing bosses, I guess. Huh? So he is doing all right on a uh, player's eight. We have this uh, ring here. All the ring literally does is have teleport on it. That's it. Oh, all it does is have a uh, teleport on it. So you just go over here and then you teleport here and then there might be a pack over here. There's always a pack over here. Then you teleport over here and then you'd teleport to Lister the Tormentor. You can pretty much just kill him. So the player's age is not too bad, right? We're doing pretty good. Mercenary is alright. But if it was the fire mercenary, he would have literally summoned one of those fissures and then everything would have probably died. Well, we'll see. Maybe we'll make another character and we'll make that character choose the fire mercenary. Then that would uh, give us a complete way to compare them. So we have the teleport here. So all we do is just a uh, whirlwind enemy. So we did need to get the So we wanted to avoid that. We didn't want to get the crypto we look here, our experience. Our experience just started going up. So you just want to fight them away from the L so we don't get the five years. But this is how you would level up. This is how we got that uh, sorcerer's up to level 66 or 68 or something. But he could drop uh, items that are item level, what, 59? 59? So that's what level he is. But the thing is, um, right, all these things in our bank, all these things from the cows and everything, they're item level, what, 44, 47? So they might have lowered stats than the other ones, but they would have uh, lower character level requirements as well. So these are just for characters that are level 25 and below. The other ones that we gamble for would be for characters level what, 30 to 45 maybe? 30 to 50? Something like that. 30 to 60. But this is the Tormentor. He's level 59. So you could level on him until level 69. It would actually slow down a bit. I don't think we went to level 69. I think we stopped at like level 67. But I'm sure if you just did this for like one hour, you probably would be around max level. So if we got that, maybe we'll just go gamble one item to see what we're talking about. If you go here and gamble, gamble for anything. Like we don't even know what we want, right? <laughs> we can gamble for the executioner sword, right? Or we could have got that dimensional blade thing. We don't even know what the uh, unique, unique stats are. <clears throat> the thing is, right, if you're in normal difficulty and you're trying to gamble for hell difficulty items, the only way to get the unique items is to gamble for them. Oh, well, you could use that one recipe, right? We use that one recipe, we just turn it into a crafted item, and then we just turn that into the unique or set of the version that we put into it. So it's a lot more annoying than the other way of gambling, where you just go here, trade this person, then you buy these. Although, those are always item level 45. These would be item level 63. So what's the range? It was 63. So there's a range, depending on what it could be. Oh, there's the greatsword, item level 63, with the poleaxe. So, so we just got good luck with the poleaxe. Well, we didn't, because it's a naughty nightmare item. <laughs> so you can see it in gamble, item level 58, see? So what is that? Negative five, so is it plus or five levels? 
when you're gambling, the items could be your level plus or minus five levels. So Greaves, we're just looking for uh, nightmare difficulty items or hell difficulty items, I guess. That's right. If we could get hell difficulty items, there's a check. We can make the episode. Maybe it'll be, what, 22 minutes long or something. Uh, if we're just looking for weapons, if we're just looking for something like swords, if we're just looking for... This would be the quality level. <clears throat> so we can get the executioner sword. But we can also get the... What was it? Judgment blade? Oh, judgment blade. So what is that? The third one? We have no idea what the judgment blade is. <laughs> so this would be hiking. That's the two-handed sword. That's the first two-handed weapon. So just the two-handed sword. Hmm. Cool. So if we just see a regular two-handed sword, then we could gamble for it, and then we might get a hell difficulty two-handed sword. And then we'll look at the armors too. We'll try to get some armors, but so that's just a pike. Yeah, the pike is the normal difficulty one. Let's just try to uh, gamble for a little bit. We won't gamble for too long. That's going to cost like 200000 for the ancient armor. I don't think we need the ancient armor. Oh, there's the two-handed sword. Is it, oh, it's just a two-handed sword. Card level 58. Whole bunch of uh, lightning damage, fire damage, cold damage. So it has of, of the rainbow. We know that one. We can't get the hell version of it. We could get the nightmare one. Flambered. So, do we just sell this one? Resonant Crystal Sword. Uh, just a large pike of mauling. Flamberge. Flamberge Winter. Why are we not having luck? There we go. Dacian Flox. So there's the nightmare item. But we could uh, find that one. Because it was uh, 60, right? 60. Judgment Blade. Two hand sword. Maybe it's uh, not a good chance to get at the Wailing Claymore. He caused the monster to flee 100%. So I guess that's what we could do. At some point, we're going to come here. We're going to gamble for gamble for uh, Hell Difficulty items. Get the Hell Difficulty items. And then craft with the Hell Difficulty items. All we have to do is uh, get them. So we'll probably end this clip. We've looked at our bank. We've seen what we have. We'll probably go through them next time. I don't really need that. So great sword. So just a rare great sword. Item level 65 though. So if we re-roll it, <clears throat> we would want it to actually be a nightmare great sword though. Because we can get a nightmare great sword. Let's get a. Let's, are we going to be able to gamble for one? Should be able to according to the website. Heavenly Greatsword of the Glacier. Um, to that sword. Great sword. Oh, maybe we could uh, end the clip and then if we can't go for like one or two minutes or something, we'll probably find it. Great sword. So we're not looking for great swords. Claymore. Because we can't uh, buy anything except for Daisy and Flax, right? What level is AC in fact? 67. Oh. <laughs> Flambridge. So just a rare Flambridge. Pole axe. Great sword. Raging two handed sword. Level 48. So the stats on that is level 48. We just want to get one of those two items. We're just trying to get one of those for the video. We're trying to gamble it on video. Savage great sword. Oh, we don't need a great sword. Like a hellfire sword. Is that what it was? And we'll gamble for all the armor pieces too. We'll gamble for the armor pieces. We'll see uh, what uh, what level we could get. Because the main thing is that we do have to craft a whole bunch of things eventually. The main thing is to craft a whole bunch of things. 
also the main thing is to see what we have go through everything so oh, what is this the espadian the espadian is the nightmare difficulty item all right so we got the unique espadian we have a unidentified one we have an unidentified one of these so that's pretty good 27 to 56 27 to 56 66 this does more damage but this has the dual leech adds magic damage strength plus a whole bunch of life uh replenish life damage reduced by seven plus mana per kill so the dual leech is probably probably the main thing about that one two-handed sword <clears throat> so is it like a 10 percent or a five percent chance to get the sword you want Name's great sword. We can get that one, right? We can get that one as well. <clears throat> we can get that one. Was it the jeweled edge? Item level sixty five? No, we can't. We just have to sit there and farm blisters to come after and get a whole bunch more levels. Another great sword. Two handed sword. Is Badian. Uh, we're just looking for the next tier up. So this one we should be able to. So it's just the rare crystal sword. Requires level 54. So you can see how the item level just makes the character level requirement jump up considerably. Leverage. Eventually we're gonna run out of room in the cube. Flame and great sword of bashing. Alright, so we got one. We got the meteoric judgment blade of desecration, level 64. So we have a Judgment Blade, now we can re-roll it. We just needed a rare Judgment Blade though, right? If we got a rare Judgment Blade, we could do something with it. On the regular Spear too, we could get a regular Spear. Because <clears throat> we're looking at the item levels of everything, trying to figure out what can we get. We can get the uh, Bardiche, we can get the Hell Difficulty Bardiche probably. So there's uh, pretty much just the beginner Hell Difficulty weapons. Although the beginner hell difficulty weapons would be uh, better than anything that we could get here in normal difficulty. Who's gonna get that spear of a crystal? No, not looking for the spear. <clears throat> so we've just been sitting here gambling. We did get uh, some two-handed swords. We'll just run to the bank here quick. Oh, let's just do uh, one more gamble. See if we could find one more thing to gamble for. Maybe a two-handed sword. <laughs> So if we get a rare version of the two-handed sword, then we could just keep on re-rolling it. And then just uh, keep on re-rolling it until we get something that we want. So all you need is uh, one item. All you need is one item, and then you just need to keep on uh, re-rolling the item. Calling spear, so it's just a regular spear. I'll even get like the upgraded bow or something. There's probably a whole whole bunch of things. We could maybe get the claws or something. But let's just try to get a rare <coughs> rare two-handed sword. Or we'll try to we'll just try one more thing and then we'll go to the bank. We'll just make this episode like 30 minutes. It's supposed to be shorter. So I guess you could uh tell you could tell when you get a judgment blade because the picture is going to look different. Maybe we'll just come back if we get a rare judgment blade. Or maybe we should just be going to nightmare difficulty. It'd be easier to get nightmare because then you could just uh, kill enemies. The enemies would be enemy level 66. So just killing the enemies would drop you, would drop your what? Hell difficulty? 
Oh, they would. They would drop you the base hull difficulty items. And then they would allow you to level up. And then you could get the how did you could get the best items you could gamble for the best items then so level 66 could just bring you up to 76 oh I guess that's right you could only go up to level 76 in nightmare difficulty anyways somewhere around there so I guess there's a no reason no reason to get up to rid ridiculous high levels so the enemies there are level 66. All the enemies at the end of Nightmare Difficulty are level 66. I haven't seen a single 2 end sword. <laughs> we just want to gamble for one more 2 end sword before we go. We probably already did gamble for another 2 end sword. There's one right there, we missed it. We seen it. We seen the two-hand sword. We could have gambled for it. I think the two-hand sword is the only thing I want. We'll just gamble for this and then, well, we're trying to. But this is uh, gambling in Diablo 2. It's how you'd uh, usually gamble. Whoops. So let's just go to the bank quick and see what we got. So we just got the executioner sword. So we did get a rare Executioner Sword, although we imagine uh, Judgment Blade's better than the Executioner Sword. Uh, this was on page 5 or something. Was it in the personal or shared stash? Here we go. So we got the Espadian, and then we got a rare Espadian level 66. We got the Executioner Sword, so we got like a... Oh, it's just a great sword. We got the rare Executioner Sword, level 61. So these stats could have been much better. We could re-roll it if we really want to. There's the unique executioner sword, so it ignores target defense plus a whole bunch of extra damage. Normal attack speed requires level 48. So we're gonna be able to get things. We got this thing, we gambled that, we got the flambird. So this thing it's at 28 to 65 damage. And it doesn't have any damage on it. 28 to 65. So that's what I mean. It's basically almost this much damage and very fast attack speed uh, without without any modifiers on it 59 to 119 71 see even the two hand damage so if you're just level 44 if you're level 44 you'd sooner have that thing than this thing well this thing with a whole bunch of actual decent stats on it that are below level 44 but hell difficulty items uh, are the way to go so we're probably in this clip, we've been here for a while, we've just been trying to gamble for these hell difficulty items, and updating everything. So now, let's just uh, go to all those rares that we had and then identify all those rares. So we'll have a couple episodes here then. We'll have this one and the other one. So we don't need to throw that spear, we just picked up that spear. Maybe we could identify that spear. Uh, I'm not sure where we got the greaves from. We'll just keep them there. By the next episode, We'll just go through all these pages and try to identify the rares, see if there's anything worth keeping there. And then later, later we can just level up a bit, level up the mercenary and try to get more hell. We have to craft a bunch of items. So many things to do in this mod.